cool old resting relic out here. Internationals are like 39 to 40 zero. Be considered a medium duty truck. Front wheel drive Pontiac Bonneville. Good durable GM cars with the 3800 V6. So the old International. This one looks like it could have been running usable truck when they parked it. Critters get busy out here. Somebody's removed an axle shaft for some reason. Never, never know why these old things get parked. There is axle on that side and one still on that side apparently. Or else they just tapped the hubcap on after they took them out. <laughs> Over here, we've got the 1972 Dodge Polara. It's the color that I think about 95% of these old cars were. Uh-huh. Sure. Sure was popular. Avocado green in the kitchen, in the garage. Everything avocado green. Arguably very ugly car, arguably very beautiful car. I think it's beautiful. Always had a soft spot for 72 Polaris. There was one that was repainted B5 blue and rebuilt motor and trans out in California that one summer I came home from college and I really it was a restored car for 5,000 bucks and at the age at the time I was 20 I don't know honestly why I didn't just go out and do it <laughs> drive it home make the adventure because the guy sure couldn't restore this for Five thousand bucks. Cool old rig. And the old Caprice. About an 80. 81. Pretty early car. Pretty mousy. They've even chewed the fabric off the seats. Kind of got to take them all apart when they get like this. Clean them out. I know some people are scared to do it. It doesn't really bother me. I grew up around it. You can tell, obviously, this one's been 10 years since there was a live one, so most of the germs are probably stagnant. <laughs> Early Caprice were these red color. This color didn't survive all the way to the 1990 when they quit these. It's got that big egg crate grill that's just slightly different. I believe that's 80 and 81 only. Thank you.
I'm sure the under hood of the Polaro looks the same way. Just gotta clean them out, do your thing. If they turn, tinker on them, go from there. If they don't, rebuild or replace. Good curbside, but a lot of work to clean one up and bring it back. Another international KB. Pretty cool old resting relic out here. Ready to build, ready to put on whatever frame you want. Neat Art Deco styling on these. Another one over here in the trees. Came barbed wire storage. Critters have been busy in there nesting. Shame it's got that hole cut in the dash, but anything's fixable. Lots of junk, lots of iron. <laughs> cool old winged mercury hubcaps. Those used to sell pretty good, but they're probably reproed now like everything else. <laughs> Super nice Ford 73 to 79 truck bed. Beautiful shape. Vintage fuel barrel. Full of wood. Manure spreader. Different place and different time when they use them. Tillage equipment, hay baler, seed drill. John Deere was apparently the preferred brand. Three of the same combine. 7700 turbos. Take your pick. Two forty six thirty tractors. Guys, come right here. We're going to go up this line and then go back down, come back down that other right Kind of a neat old 66. 
cleaner over there. We're going to go around to the house, north of the, right there, northeast of the house, is three fuel tanks. Uh, and then we're going to go out north. There's Super clean truck. Trucks and implements out there and scrap iron. When we get done there, we'll you, uh, take you. Uh, you probably be best as cool as it is. Uh, Follow me over here uh, west about five miles, and there's some old uh, implement piles uh, one way and some wire panels over there. All right, guys, got a load chute here and all them panels. Right Read there. everything but the last name. I think it might have been Jack Bowker, but I'm not sure. Really rusty Chevy. Yellow truck, been repainted. Just a six cylinder to move all that around. Neat colors, but how in the world did it get so rusty? My goodness. Especially in Oklahoma. Old construction truck explains the yellow. It was re recommissioned with a farm bed and hoist. Piece of history there. Hard to imagine these trucks are half a century old. These 90s vehicles in good shape. Kind of amazing they've started to gain collector interest. This old Ford is super clean. We all remember them growing up. They all kind of went away. Got the Kawasaki three-wheeler. Definite collector interest in these, too. Farm auction day. 